welcome to week four of my vlog. Thanks to everyone for watching and all the support. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying them. I'm enjoying shooting them. So enjoy this week, which is all in Austria. Welcome to Vienna. Um, it's Monday night, I've just arrived and I'm trying to find a place to have dinner. And even though there are no people, every restaurant is packed. So it's dinner time, it's like eight o'clock. Let's see. So I went to the club, I had dinner. It wasn't really planned. And now I'm in Steven Schlatz, I think that's how you say it. We just walked into the venue here in Volkersdorf. That's Lorenzo. Yoris is bringing the drums in. And it's like down the main, the cocktail bar is up there. And then you come down into the theater. It's really cute. So we had a really great show in Volkersdorf. Um, I didn't get any footage of it. Um, but we had a very good crowd, as you could sort of see in the video, and there were even people like sitting on the stairs, which was really nice. And that was the first gig for this trio with Lorenzo and Joris, and we're playing um, in Austria all week, and then this is the same trio that's gonna go to Italy. So it was just, uh, I don't know, I love those kinds of cellar environments, because uh, they're very intimate. I, I just like that a lot. So um, we're playing the same trio tomorrow in Poisdorf. I think is how you say it. So on Monday, basically what was happening was I couldn't find anywhere to have dinner because everywhere was full and I was just sort of walking around. And it occurred to me that Jazzland, which is one of my favorite clubs in Europe, is here. Like that's why I'm in Vienna and they have food. Um, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just go and see if they're open. I didn't know if they're open on Monday. And um, I just walked down there and it was just so great because I saw Axel and Tilly, they're the owners and Martin and all the staff and Thomas and these people that I haven't seen in like three years. And um, well, they weren't expecting to see me. <laughs> so I walk in and I'm just like, hey, everybody, you know? And uh, they just looked at me and then Axel was like, I think you're early. <laughs> I said, no, I know, I know. Um, but it was great. And I sat down and we had dinner together and hung out and talked. And I'm sorry I didn't like film more of the club, but you'll see it this weekend. You'll see it when we play Thursday night. Um, but that's Jazzland, and that's where I had dinner on Monday, and I'm in Vienna, and I love it here, and it's so beautiful, um, so that's the update. So we just arrived in Poisdorf. We're going in there. It's a beautiful day here. This is a wine region. We just finished sound check, and these are like amazing church bells. Um, we're, we're only 10 kilometers from the Czech Republic border, that way, in Poisdorf. And now we're going to go to dinner um, before the show. The show's in like an hour and a half.
jig is done and now we load out every day load in load out i used to say load in load out fight 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 you know like football chant so it's evening on thursday and it's going to be our first night at jazzland here it is just walk up here and then this confused me my very first time here because you're like where's the club There's the door. There's Nikki, Jimmy Cobb. There's Clark. And there's Thomas. Hi. <laughs> so this is the club. stage just past Lockjaw and Ray Brown right in here <laughs> I missed sound check so people are already on <laughs> they're already here that's my piano the guys aren't here yet there's the people I really love the food here at Jazzland. To me, it's very like it's like it's like Viennese, like drinking food. It goes well with drinking. I want you guys to see this as Viennese pretzel. I, I don't. I don't know if it's enough. Is it gonna be? It's a lot. It's a lot of food. That's cranberry sauce. Okay. So it's almost showtime here at Jazzland, and this is their 50th anniversary. They opened in 1972. It's one of my favorite clubs in Europe. I've been showing you guys the photos and everything. And we have a very good crowd here Thursday night. Um, I'm in sort of like the back area here right now, but the people are all up there and they're partying pretty good, so it's gonna be fun. And I'm um, just looking forward to it. Don't take off it for the Dolphin Hotel.
My hair looks so funny. It's like three in the morning and I am wide awake um, because it doesn't matter. Like during the day, I'm, I'm tired. Sound check, I'm tired. Gigs about to start. You know, I like, I feel pretty good. Gig happens. I feel great. I've got a lot of energy. Gig is over. I'm awake till four in the morning. I'm wide awake. I watch TV. I'm watching Outlander. I have my iPad, I read my books, I check them out from the library on my iPad and I read my books. I'm about to start Dune. I just finished The Maid. Um, wide awake. So awake, I still haven't taken my makeup off, to be honest. Um, it's a weird thing, it's a weird thing. Just letting you know, we had a great night tonight at Jazzland, as you, you saw in the videos. Uh, we're doing it again tomorrow, it's Saturday. One more gig in Austria and then we go to Italy. I'll be awake there too, I think. Hi, everyone's in. <laughs> Hello, Giovanna. Ciao. Did you enjoy the show? A lot. Hello, Michael. Yeah, it was great. Did you Absolutely. do? Did you do a good job selling CDs? Well, only seven. I'm awfully sorry. No, it's very awfully good. Just so very good. Yeah, I'm awfully sorry. How was your night? How was Martin's night? We're we going to say. Oh, my night was good. I, I found a mask. <laughs> to know. Yeah. How about your night, Michael? I had a great night. Thank you for the Thanks cheese sandwich. You. You're very welcome. <laughs> Saturday nights, our final night here um, in Vienna, Jazzland. Tomorrow we have a show in Essling. And I, I've been doing pretty good. It's about halfway through the tour. So tomorrow will be three more weeks, um, but actually half of the shows. So I'm only halfway through the shows, even though I'm more than halfway through the time if that makes sense. Because at the beginning of the tour, there was a lot more time off, and now um, the second wave of the tour, it's very busy. A lot of one years. Tell us, tell us what it is, Giovanni. Oh, this is this your soup? It's Lorenzo's <laughs> soup. But this is what? This is chivapcici. Chivapcici. Oh no, you have, to, you have to put the soup. Long meatballs. The soup over this, and then it's called chivapcici. Oh no. <laughs> Pretty easy, huh? <laughs>
very sunny here. It is Sunday and we have just arrived in Esslingen, which I am told is still in the border of Vienna, but I think it's like a suburb. And now we're loading in. Woo, sunny. Okay, let's go inside. We just finished sound check today here in Esslingen. I'm on a keyboard. Sometimes it happens. It's okay. Actually, I don't mind. It's going to be a really nice Sunday show and it's very wooden in the venue and it sounds really nice. Actually, the acoustics are really pretty. So we just finished our concert here at Esslingen and I was playing this keyboard, which is a Roland. Actually, it's a really nice keyboard. Uh, and this never happens to me. Like, I don't play keyboard in Europe hardly at all. Maybe it's happened two or three times. Um, but when it when it happens, I always think, of course, it's a little bit... Oh, hold on. I'll come back. Okay, sorry. I had to take a photo. Um, but uh, keyboard. It doesn't happen very often, but I think it's a very humbling experience when it happens because it sort of reminds you... Uh, you can't be too pianistic, you have to be able to play not a piano. And I never use a pedal when I use a keyboard because I think the pedal is so foreign to me because it's not at all like a real piano pedal. So I never use the pedal so it totally changes the way I play it, I think in a very good way. Bye guys! <laughs> I'm good, people are still here. And um, it always reminds me of this story about Cedar Walton and a friend of mine who played bass with him and they showed up at the gig and it was like an electric bass and anyway Cedar was like it doesn't matter you just have to play the gig you know and so anyway keyboard or not we played the gig we had a really good time and tomorrow we're going to Italy to Milan it's my first time and I'm excited and um, this room had a really good sound actually because all the wood um, but I don't think we got any video or maybe we did I'll ask around um, but anyway, that's my keyboard adventure for this tour. It was actually a nice keyboard because it was an older one. Weighted keys and the sound was pretty good. Okay. I am Lorenzo. I play bass with her. We've, we've played together all week. Uh, all week, In yes. Austria and now we're going to Italy? Yes. It's uh, south and north Italy. And are we going to have lots of good food? Yes. And good music. And good music. <laughs> And good wine. And good wine. And yes. good times. Yes. We have fun. Yes. Which, what, what was your favorite gig this week? This week, uh, Jazzland. Yeah, it's the best, right? Yes. The club is so nice. Yes. yes. What is going to be your favorite gig in Italy? Which one are you most excited about? I don't know. We, we will see. There's a lot. How many? Seven. Seven? Yeah. I'm looking forward to the Blue Note, though. Just, it looks pretty. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's big. Okay. Well, we'll see you from Italy. Ciao. Packing up? Yes. How'd the gig go? Great. What was your favorite gig in Austria this week? This week? Uh, yeah. Each of those. All of them? All of them. And now we're going to Italy. Yes. What gig are you most excited about for Italy? Uh, Vicenza. Oh, why? Because the, the town is beautiful. Oh, it's and, pretty. And the club and the food. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Do you have anything you want to say? This is for my vlog. Uh, you look very nervous, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Italy is going to be the best for you. Okay. Ever. Ever. All right. Well, we'll see you in Italy. Yes. Look forward. So just trying to decompress and I'm reading on my iPad. I got Dune from the library, <laughs> even though I already saw the movie. It's so good. And just seeing beautiful Vienna on this fine day, it's very warm. I think it's gonna get even warmer in Italy and I didn't bring enough clothes for this weather, so we'll see. Um, but it's been a wonderful trip and people asked me like, how do you stay healthy and how do you keep your energy up? This week, mostly I did that by not doing anything. I didn't do a lot during the day. I just go for a walk, have lunch, go to the gig. Um, like 10 years ago when I used to come to Europe, I would do a lot of sightseeing and go to the museums and see everything during the day. Um, and I think that's great, but it really can wear you out before the gig, so I don't do that. Anymore. 